Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your 2018 forecasts. Um, it's nice to be back. I've missed everyone. I hope that everyone has had a beautiful time of celebration um, throughout the end of 2017 and a wonderful start to 2018. Um, I apologize for the delay. Um, I've been dealing with some health issues. I started off the year with a chest infection and then a twisted ankle. Um, and so uh, it's not been the best, but I hope it doesn't set the tone for the rest of the year. Um, thank you to everyone who's reached out and checked up on me, made sure I'm okay. And thank you to everyone for being patient. So we're going to look at the forecast. We're going to be covering the 12 months of the year and then just pulling a couple of additional cards at the end for the rest of January and what you can expect. As always, keep an open mind. These will be general readings. That means they're not going to apply to everyone or not in the same way. Take whatever makes sense to you and then disregard whatever doesn't make sense because it doesn't apply. Um, watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. And of course, if you would like a more in-depth reading specific to just you, uh, you could get a private reading for that. And we are running special offer readings during this time. So if you're interested, check those out. The links are in the description box below. But um, other than that, let's have a wonderful 2018. I hope it brings us everything that we can handle that's positive, growth, expansion, happiness, peace, okay? On an individual level, but also on a world level. Um, so let's make the best of it, okay? We're going to check out the cards next for each of the signs. So I'm really excited to just get back into the flow of things, okay? So have a wonderful year and I will see you again in the next video. Bye for now. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your forecast for 2018. So this is for Scorpio sun sign, moon sign and rising signs. So let's have a look at what's coming up here for you. As the overall energy, we do have the justice card, a major arcana energy. Um, so this talks about being very mindful of your choices throughout the year of 2018. Um, it's not, you know, in a, in, a, in a bad way. This is just saying be extra careful because karma is at work in your life. Karmic lessons, karmic cycles, karmic debts, okay, may be coming up for you in 2018. And the only thing that you need to be careful with that is that you always do the right thing. You do things the proper way, the legal way, the ethical way. And that will help um, create positive karma for you and will help you reap um, blessings, okay, as opposed to create more lessons for yourself. But you have the opportunity to make this a really great year for yourself where you get your way with what you're trying to achieve and you get what you deserve, okay, out of relationships, out of job situations, financial situations, with your health, that you get what you deserve, okay? Um, karma, I feel, will be more present or active or a bigger theme in your life, whatever you want to call it, in the second half of the year, uh, which means that in the first half of 2018, you have the opportunity to create um almost like um what am i trying to say you have the opportunity to do the things that will set things in motion in the right direction for yourself okay to plant the seeds for you to to reap karmic rewards in the second half of the year or starting with the second half of the year i hope that um that makes sense so in january we have the five of wands so for some of you, this just talks about you being in, in the process of uh, looking for a job. For others of you, this is about competitions that you take part in. For others, it's about focusing on your uh, health, training more, uh, maybe taking part in contests or competitions or just challenging yourself um, with this energy as well. Um, the Five of Wands can also indicate having multiple options if you're interested in looking uh, for a love partner. You may have people competing for your attention. On the other hand, you may also be uh, part of several people competing for one person's attention. There's a fire sign energy around this. So um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, stand up for yourself and again, do what you know you deserve. Um, go for what you know you deserve, don't settle um, for anything less. And if something creates stress, tension, and it brings drama, negativity in your life, then look at it and really decide if it's worth it, okay? If you wanna welcome that into your life. This could also be on the job training, so you're starting a new job for some of you. Um, and for others, it is, again, taking part in 
a lot of different activities. So you're very busy, okay, with work, with your um, training, with your relationship, with your family. You're, you're trying to keep it all um, working well, okay, but you're split in a lot of different ways. But you will find yourself feeling more confident and energized, so you'll have the energy to do what you're trying to do. In February, we have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups here for some of you talks about um, being a little bit nostalgic or feeling like you need a break, feeling a little bit extra sensitive and that's what makes you nostalgic. And for some of you, it comes from having worked yourself too hard. So just be mindful of that. And if you feel you need to take time to rest, then definitely take the time to rest. For others of you, this is reconnecting, reuniting with an old friend. For others, this is about an old flame, an old, um, a previous partner, an ex, okay, with this energy, uh, or having the opportunity to reconnect with someone um, to make peace, to clear the air, okay, to be able to move on from um, a challenging situation. Often when you do deal with karmic situations, you do see the past coming back, um, and it comes back for us to learn or for us to get a chance to do things differently, okay, so just keep that in mind. For March, we have the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands, this is about setting your sights high. This is about making changes. You're ready for change, you're ready for growth, and you have turned your back on the past for some of you. You've turned your back on um, a relationship or, or the opportunity to get back together with someone. I feel that you have reached a point where you understand why you were supposed to be together in the first place and you understand why things happened the way they did. And so you, you're ready to release that situation because you've learned from it, you've grown from it, you're ready to move on. So that's really, really beautiful. For others of you, this is setting off on an adventure. I feel this it talks about travel, going places you've never been before, doing things that you've never done before, um, looking out for opportunities or expecting to hear back from interviews, applications. Um, this is also invitations to travel whether it's in a social capacity or a professional capacity. Um, and for others, I feel that you're getting ready to move. You're looking at where you want to go, what kind of property you want to buy, um, and you may be looking overseas, okay, with this energy as well. Wonderful feedback is also coming your way, and it brings offers and opportunities attached, so keep up the good work. In April, we have the Three of Cups, so again, reasons to celebrate, so another three, growth, abundance, expansion, rewards, recognition being celebrated, achievements being um, not necessarily crowned for something, but you could get some sort of a, a or, sorry, an award with this energy here as well. For some, this is, again, reuniting with friends, spending more time with friends and family, um, talking to people you haven't talked to in a, in a in a while okay with the three of cups further you're focusing on being more social and going out more and maybe dating more okay with this energy and in existing relationships this could talk about pregnancies um or uh, reasons to celebrate about you know taking the relationship to the next level in, in whichever way that applies to you okay whether that is uh, introducing each other to the family or moving in together or getting married or starting a family uh, or buying a house, okay, whatever the case may be, reasons to celebrate for um, to do with growth, okay. For May, we have the Four of Cups. So with the Four of Cups, for some of you in May, I feel like a holiday gets cut short uh, or you were supposed to do something and it changes overnight. You're not exactly happy about it, but it's a good opportunity that you have to take or it's something that um, you know that if you if you do what you're asked to do, it will benefit you um, a great deal. So a hint of, um, of, of that going on. For others of you, I feel that this talks about um, waiting for something, either waiting to hear from someone or waiting for um, to hear from a job um, application or to hear from someone who's supposed to give you an approval for something. Um, I feel that it may take longer than what you would like and so try not to let that get you down and try not to let that get you to quit on what it is that you're trying to do. Um, it's something that you've tried for, applied for, 
um, interviewed for, uh, tried to do a number of different times for some of you, okay? Um, and for others, this could be an on-again, off-again relationship, uh, becoming on-again or off-again, okay? Whichever the case may be. In June, we have the Knight of Wands. So for some of you, this is coming through. You were expecting to hear in May, but it's not happening. It will happen in June. Um, and it is to do a, a, with a new job. It is to do with a promotion. It is to do with a home move. It is to do with someone flying back into your life um, with this energy as well. There's water signs and fire sign energy around you, okay? Um, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be their sun sign, their moon sign, or their rising sign. Um, whatever the case may be, June is a month for a lot of activity, fast-paced energy, travel, relocation, buying a car, um, traveling by car, traveling by train, flying, okay, with this energy as well. Um, and things just flying. So, again, things moving at a very fast um, pace. Okay, very, very um, speedy type of things. For others of you, be mindful that I feel that a relationship may not be what you hope it to be. I feel that you hope that a reconciliation with someone will allow you to finally be done with the drama and be able to move forward together. Um, but it may be that you're not on the same page with that, that you don't want the same thing. So again, it's just something to keep in mind and to just double check, okay? Um, so that you don't get hurt or blindsided. Um, just honest communication is important and adjusting your expectations is also important. In July, we have the Emperor. The Emperor here comes up um, um, a few different ways. For some of you, this is someone who, I feel like this is the same person as the Knight of Wands. Um, you thought they had changed. However, this person is still very manipulative, very controlling, very, very much um, not willing to negotiate, not willing to compromise. So you may be struggling with that. For others of you, this is dealing with uh, figures of authority, the law, the government, um, police, dealing with taxes and stuff like that where you just have to do what they tell you to do, okay? Um, try to be patient and just do what you're being told to do and it will it will work out, okay? Um, this isn't someone you can argue with is what I'm getting, okay? For um, others of you, this talks about a successful time with career. It talks about you being in charge. Um, so some sort of promotion that sees you becoming a manager, um, a supervisor, um, a um, leader of a team, a department, a project, and it's a really good time for business. You're in meetings a lot. You're talking to a lot of influential people. So um, make the best of that, okay? Make the best of that. A father figure may also be important at this time so either you're focusing more on them they need you more at this time or they're helping you out during this time okay or someone becoming a father in um, august we have the devil so with the devil card here for some of you i feel that you've gotten yourself involved in a non again off again relationship that's part of a karmic lesson um again you're dealing with the same emotions and the same experiences that you've had before even though you hoped that you wouldn't have to deal with that again so again, it's just part of your karmic lesson. It's just what you need to do to break the cycle is um, to apply what you've learned, to do things differently, to believe in yourself first and foremost, more, um, first and foremost to um, take your power, to assert yourself, uh, to you know not be afraid to say no, uh, to not be afraid to ask the questions about what is it that I deserve and are you giving me what I deserve, okay? Um, and acting accordingly with confidence and with calm, with diplomacy, not seeing yourself as a victim, not seeing yourself as powerless, um, that will break the cycle, okay? And you have the opportunity to do that. For others of you, this is a focus on your finances, it's a focus on money, it's a focus on reputation, it has to do with that promotion where you're in charge of a lot of stuff and you're meeting a lot of important people. 
Um, this just means, you know, make, make sure that you don't go overboard with this because you could become a workaholic so easily. Um, but it will damage your health, it will damage your social life, it will damage your relationship with family, it will damage your relationships. Uh, you would have to sacrifice a great deal, okay, to keep up this kind of um, position uh, or to keep up this kind of growth uh, within your career. So just think about your options and decide what's best for you, okay? Um, Because I do feel that it's going to be a very busy time. You're going to feel like you're chained to your desk or your phone or your laptop or whatever the case may be. You're going to be making a lot of money. However, again, you just have to think, is it worth it? Okay, weigh your options and decide what you want to do and make your peace with your choices. Um, and a Capricorn person, Sun, Moon, or Rising may be significant for you at this time. Either that's the person pressuring you or that's the person um, you want to be like or that's the person... Um, giving you a hard time because you're not there a lot, whatever the case may be. In September, we have the Strength card. So with the Strength card, so for some of you, you're breaking free. You're freeing yourselves from that karmic cycle. You're freeing yourselves from that uh, situation where you were taken for granted, you were a victim, you were abused in whichever way, um, and you're freeing yourself from it. That's the Strength card. You're conquering the beast. You're taking your power back. You're choosing to take care of yourself. You're choosing to nurture yourself. And you're choosing to um, use your power to um, be happy and to be healthy. Okay? Very important. Uh, for those of you, this is conquering addiction. Absolutely. And this time I feel it, it sticks um, is what I'm getting. Recovering from a health issue, maybe to do with working too much or maybe to do with not eating enough or not resting properly, okay? You're recovering from that. For others of you, a Leo individual is significant, sun, moon, or rising sign. I feel that you either are worried about this person or um, you're thinking about this person or this person's trying to get your attention or trying to get you to spend more time with them or this person's trying to... Um, kind of butting heads with you okay is what I'm getting here whatever you're involved in whatever especially if it's to do with negotiations or anything like that the strength card tells you to be diplomatic um, but to to stand your ground to be diplomatic but to um, speak with grace with uh, skill um, to the point where you don't back down but you don't have to create a, a big uh, scene over it or uh, create arguments or conflict okay um, it's kind of uh, grace and elegance um, will be how you win, whatever you're involved in, okay? In October, we have the Eight of Swords. So with the Eight of Swords in October, this just talks about um, restrictions. You're looking at restrictions and how to overcome them. Uh, for those of you, you're going to therapy to um, overcome a fear, to overcome a phobia, to... Um, Kind of continue on this path of empowerment okay and you're just working on that because maybe every now and again self-doubt comes back up to the surface um for others of you this uh, can see some issues with your health in terms of limiting movement so either uh, a sprain or um uh, inflammation um in the body or um just aches and pains um migraines Maybe problems with your eyesight, um, um, problems with your joints, uh, rheum rheumatism comes up here. Um, anything to do with calcium, uh, calcium deficiency or iron deficiency. Um, and you're just addressing these issues, okay? You do have to address them because with the Eight of Swords, you can try to ignore them, but they really won't go away. And so around this time, just make sure that you take good care of your health and whatever is concerning you, have it looked at, okay? For November, see, whatever the issue was for some of you, you've uh, taken action, you've addressed it, and it's healing. You're recovered. That's what this is. It's physical healing. It also talks about um, emotional healing um, and coming into a better state of mind where you're more peaceful, you're more in balance. Um, for some, this is you enjoying your independence, enjoying your freedom, enjoying your, your, the single life. Uh, for others, this is about 
seeing a dream come true, whatever that may be, okay? Um, if it's connected to an Aquarius or if it's connected to um, abundance, joy, reasons to celebrate your health, mind, body, and soul, um, anything to do with a dream that you've always had that's always been in your heart, um, you're seeing that come true, okay? Um, it is something that you've always loved, you've always wanted to do, you've always wished for, and it is for your highest good. It supports your growth, your evolution, um, peace and balance in your life, and that's why it's coming true, okay? Um, with the star card. In December, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles can be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who may be significant for you at this time, for better or for worse. For others of you, this does talk about planning out your future, so talking to your partner about starting a family or talking to your partner about getting married, talking to your partner about moving in together, joining your finances, your assets, your property. Um, for others of you, this is about you helping others, you being very generous. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles also looks at pregnancy for some of you. Um, resolving fertility issues so for some of you maybe that's what you've been struggling with and with the star card you're you've healed with the eight of swords that could be a procedure that you're doing um and then you find out that you're pregnant or your partner's pregnant or um uh, this person who's very close to you okay um is pregnant for some of you this is about surrogacy um either you're a surrogate or you're you're um someone else is a surrogate for you okay whichever the case may be everyone's healthy and happy so that's good um, wonderful returns in terms of your finances, in terms of your business, okay? Uh, for some, you're investing in a home, you're investing in your health, you're investing in changing your wardrobe, you're investing in redecorating um, with this energy as well. Um, so you're ending the year on a very high note, okay? You have everything you need and more. Um, your overall energy and guidance, we have cherishing self, I accept and love myself so again um, a big part of the lesson is to learn to love yourself okay the karmic lessons that you may be dealing with learning to love yourself learning to value yourself um, and behaving acting accordingly okay um, and if you show the universe through your actions through your words through your thoughts that you value yourself that you love and respect yourself then the universe will take out people from your life who do not treat you that way and it will bring in new people, better people into your life who will love you, cherish you, and respect you, okay? So in a very um, simplistic kind of a way, for some of you, that's what this is about. Um, for others of you, this is about 2018 being a year where you can afford to relax, you can afford to in indulge, you can afford to travel, you can afford to pamper yourself, so that's awesome. Um, dating, okay? Um, and maybe making a very significant love connection can also happen in 2018. And again, kind of um, the, the high life comes up here. So uh, making significant, very important contacts through your work um, or just enjoying the, the life of you know fine dining and going out and uh, wine and candles, that sort of thing in your love life. Um, but it definitely feels like you have the opportunity to to grow, to go to the next level, um, to experience things that you haven't experienced before, okay? Um, and let's look at what you can expect for the rest of January. For the rest of January, we have the Lovers and the Temperance card with the Five of Wands. So for some of you are conflicted over a choice that involves a Gemini and a Sagittarius. For, um, that's, you know, Sun, Moon, or Rising. For others of you, you're conflicted over a choice that you've been putting off for a really long time. Um, Others, for others, this talks about a new commitment. So you're starting a new job and you, there's a lot going on. There's a lot that you need to do. Um, starting a new job and you have to do training and your work at the same time. You have to do your training and your induction at the same time. So it's a busy month. Um, for others, it's a commitment where you still have to do things for. You still have to put together um, a file or a folder or a presentation or go through tests or go through exams type of thing but it's on the table for you you just have to go through what you have to go through okay and take it one step at a time so you can't start right away but you will start this okay as soon as 
things come together as soon as the, the process is finalized, as soon as the references come in, as soon as you complete your training, as soon as security checks are done. So there's a bit of a wait time for a new commitment to start, but it will start, okay? Reasons to celebrate, absolutely. Um, and again, whatever choices you have to make, Trust your instincts and think about the long term, okay? Don't go for the uh, short term gain. Don't go for the here and now. I don't care about the consequences. Remember, this is a karmic year for you in particular. So do the right thing. Do the ethical thing. Be above board with everything. Be honest with yourself and do what will bring you joy, happiness, and fulfillment in your life um, for the long run, okay? So that is your reading. I hope that it makes sense to you. I hope that it helps you. I would definitely recommend coming back to it every month, just double checking, um, because by doing that, you get um, the most out of a forecast, even if it's a general one. Um, watch your moon and rising signs as well. Have a wonderful year. Have a blessed year. And I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye for now.